Over in the United States, the White House revealed plans to review and update trade deals with other countries. The announcement could set off alarm bells in Seoul, as President Donald Trump has heaped criticism on his country's FTA with Korea. Kim mo takes a closer look at the revision designed with the benefits of America in mind. In a briefing Tuesday, White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said the Trump administration will look through the nation's trade agreements to make sure they are the most up-to-date and address the technological advances that have occurred. I think the idea is to make sure that we are looking at all of the trade deals we have throughout the globe to make sure that they continue to benefit American and American workers. Um, and in many cases, we can update these deals. He stressed, however, that such a review isn't targeted at any specific country. Spicer reaffirmed the president's pledge to review all trade pacts and agreements. As Trump has previously said, free trade deals have contributed to America's economic difficulties over the years. Since his inauguration, President Trump has been focusing on the protection of American workers and companies as his top priority. Last month, Trump withdrew the U.S. from the 12-nation Trans-Pacific Partnership and also pledged to renegotiate the North American Free Trade Agreement. The Chinese government has expressed concern over the administration's trade policies as Trump has vowed to raise import duties on Chinese goods to 40 percent. China's Commerce Minister Gao Hu Cheng said Tuesday that a trade war between the two countries should not be an option and stressed that cooperation will benefit both sides. South Korea will be monitoring how the White House addresses the free trade agreement between Seoul and Washington that came into effect in early 2012. On the campaign trail, Trump slammed the deal, saying it was killing jobs in the United States. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.